Number 8. Number 8 is hideous in that it represents the fascist mentality of the Luciferian mind. Total absolute control is all this number represents. Nothing matters but the Luciferian domination of our original eternal state utilizing the intellectually indoctrinated Illuminati elite. As you progress through this site, you'll see the incredible significance of the number 8, the word 8, the word 8, the shape of the octagon, the 135 degree angle of the octagon and the infinity symbol. The number 8 suggests destruction to anything that attempts to hinder this control. The endless coil of the eight is symbolic of the electromagnetic coil wrapped around humanity. Keep in mind, we are conjured up by the Luciferian egregore thought form as illusory light energy and therefore are electrical and magnetic in our three-dimensional makeup. This light energy form of how we physically appear is riddled with deceit. The coils of our three-dimensional reality are manufactured to squeeze disconnect us from reality, just as a snake coils around and strangles its prey. Everything in our three-dimensional existence acts upon our consciousness endlessly coiling and manipulating our actions to fulfill the aim of the agenda. The number eight is symbolic of infinity. It is a never-ending symbol. It's the serpent that swallowed its tail and maintains relentless control. The evidence is overwhelming that the world systems control us. The systems have all been established using manufactured number systems and are completely designed to destroy all connection with reality we might dare to retain. Every major empire throughout history has furthered the cause of world fascist control, which is simply a front, or a smokescreen for Luciferianism, and today we see the American empire taking its turn at the helm. The American empire will be the last one used to bring in the one world fascist regime for those left alive. Keep in mind, this fascist mentality is total manipulation of our original state of being. Through indoctrination of the Luciferian mindset, working its insanity, we are taught to believe that freedom in the three-dimensional scheme of things is somehow freedom. Being free in the 3D sense, without realizing that emotional connection to, or believing that the 3D experience is real, has no freedom in it whatsoever. And this is the manipulation of our eternal paradise state. Belief in the three-dimensional realm as being real, and assigning value and credence to it, is the ultimate fascist imprisonment and control. The United States was established in 1776. Not such a notable of year when observed from a calendar perspective. However, look at it from an entity-driven perspective and something quite sinister appears. Luciferian symbolism is obsessed with adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing. This is the magic of sacred geometry. They also mirror numbers, and mirroring anything in this existence if it serves their purpose. So the year 1776 divided by 2 equals 888. Now mirror this number, it's still 888. Trying mirroring it in any direction, above, below, left, right, it's still 888. From this you should see that the date for the creation of the United States was no accident. It's highly significant in the plan of the agenda. Just how significant the United States is concerning the Luciferian thought process for total control is almost indescribable, and was never meant to be uncovered. Patiently bear with these words as more groundwork is laid, to assist in understanding the complete lunacy that has pieced together this whole agenda, and for that matter, the entire universe. It should also be noted that after the Luciferian mind-controlled government elite and agencies used to attack the World Trade Center using the American administration secret service agencies, etc. and destroyed the complex, the new Freedom Tower is already under construction and will be 1776 feet tall. When observed from directly above, the shape is a perfect octagon. Once again, the symbolic number of 1776 divided by 2 equals 888. Is this really freedom? Furthermore, July 4th, the birth date of the United States is the number 4, the four-square foundation of the Mother Goddess which represents the whole trinity of all religion. The 4th of July is 14 days, or 2 by 7, after the summer solstice, a high point in occult, or hidden, or secret, circles. It's also the 7th month, the number of perfection and completion. Combine all this number symbolism with 1776, which is 2888, and you have a highly significant date in regards to the birth of the USA. The number 4 has significant symbolism, and thereby significant manipulation attributes. Used in combination, the words four and square, 
refer to the foundation stone that the whole of the Luciferian agenda is built upon. This is what the words attributed to the illusory Jesus were referring to when he said to Peter, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church. 4 square equals 4 rocks in reverse equals 4 rocks. The rocks also is the source behind the name Iraq, the cradle of civilization, or more appropriately, the cradle of the conjured 3D experience, of the Luciferian agenda in Babylon. The rocks equals Iraq equals Iraq equals Iraq. As one reads through this site it becomes extremely evident that vowels can be interchanged at will. For all words in the English language can be understood without any vowels at all. Also, this is important to consider. All vowels represent light, or the all-seeing eye, from which the light, enlightenment, or learned knowledge proceeds. A equals a primate, or a prism, dividing the light into a rainbow of color. E equals the three-pronged trinity, the electron, proton and neutron, the elect, electricity, or spirit of the light beam. I equals I, the all-seeing I, or all A, as in Allah, and the enlightened ones. O equals the circle, another symbolic form of the I, and the light extending from that I. U equals U, the vowel symbolizing our illusory physical form, which is a light illusion, a vessel, cup, with arms upstretched, worshipping the Luciferian thought process. All vowels can be pronounced without closing the lips or teeth. There are five vowels representing the sacrifice of our connection to reality. Each rock is one-fourth of a square, or 25% of the whole, see the rock video on YouTube. The number 888 is a multiple of 111 by 8 which equals 888. Where and why does this show up? The number of the Christ, Antichrist is 666. The Antichrist is the manipulated black side of religion and intellectualism derived from subtractive color mixing, while at the same time, the fabricated Christ, is the white side, derived from additive color mixing, together they represent 333 plus 333, or 111 by 3 plus 111 by 3. The tenth clock face shows the number 111 coincides with the number 3. The number 3 is symbolic of the strongest form, or shape, of the deity, and is the pyramid triangle. The number 111 is also highly symbolic being located on the 10th clock face, as 10 is the number of intensity. As well, 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3. The three sides of a triangle, male, and the three sides of the triangle, female, which totals 6. This is the duality nature of the 3D illusion. Multiply these six sides by 111 and the sum is 666. 911 the first day of creation. According to certain oral teachings among some Hebrew faithful, the day of September 11th, or 9-11, is considered the first day of creation. The Egyptian Christian Coptic religion adheres to 9-11 as the first day of creation as well. Of course, there really was no creation, only a conjuring up of an illusory three-dimensional plane. Immediately below is the source for the symbolic day of 9-11 being chosen as the first day of creation. When the number multiply 111 111 111 is multiplied by 111 111 111 the sum equals 123 456 789 876 543 21. Take a close look at what's going on here. There are 18 number ones. Section off these 18 number ones into the number 11, and you have a total of 9 11s. Multiplying. Or regenerating the square root of 111 111 111 brings every other base number into existence from 1 through to 9 and then in reverse back to 1 in other words 9 11s or the square root of 111 111 111 has the ability to conjure up any mathematical set of digits 9 11 is creation day or the creation deity the mathematical concept of 9 11 is then the centerpiece or the foundation rock, that includes three consecutive numbers, such as 1, 2 and 3, and on this rock the Luciferian thought process has built its church. Mathematics equals made mate equals regeneration process or fucking equals the creator God. Church equals Kirk equals Kruk equals Crook. This is the sacred geometry, or sexual geometry, that holds the conjured up illusion intact. Without this mathematical wizardry, 
nothing would appear as three-dimensional. Octagon Magic Sigils Throughout different world societies, the octagon, or eight-pointed stars or shields, show up. These symbols are magic sigils or powerful shapes that contain notions of total control. We are hypnotically numbed into responding to the symbol without conscious thought. We just respond mindlessly. We mustn't resist the symbolism, for resistance is the whole objective of the Luciferian agenda. However, resistance is what we are being manipulated to do. The Luciferian thought process, and the egregor group of thinking entities, manipulate and control our eternal state and separate us from our incredible power, as long as we resist and react, and remain emotionally attached to things of the three-dimensional experience. Plus, the number system was devised for this very purpose. They want us to resist the control being forced upon this illusory body of humanity. React, when the manipulated elite, in turn, do their political maneuverings to bring about less sovereignty and greater suffering for the nations of the world. But we mustn't resist and react to this control. What the intellectually indoctrinated elite and their Luciferian egregor want is for us to become that radical element, again it doesn't matter which side we choose. We can be either for them or against them. If we react and if we resist, we give them the manipulative power to continue keeping the veil intact, that separates us from our eternal all-knowing state. By resisting and reacting, we're demonstrating that we believe the subliminal hypnotic suggestion thereby making it our reality, and the events they wish to occur, and that they wish to appear real, will occur and it becomes our reality. The Cares of the World, the Theme of Luciferianism They want us to be concerned with caring about the things of the world. They want us to care about our physical wealth, physical freedom and the materialistic world. This is why the number system was devised. The number system, in turn, is religion and intellectualism. The book of Numbers in the Old Testament isn't there to simply list the begats and begottens. The book of Numbers is there to implant the notion that there's power in numbers. Numbers are meant to create systems which produce riches, power, glory, and the like, which in turn, seduce our awareness. Faith in any form of God, appeals to the greed that's been instilled by the Luciferian thought process, into this illusory body of humanity. Religion promises an eternity of peace and riches if we put our faith in the Luciferian conjured up notion of its sacred geometry. Religion and intellectualism are both designed to manipulate the faithful into desiring more of the 3D experience. Again, nothing in this 3D realm is good or bad, or right or wrong, and there's no such thing as sin. However, when the distractions of this three dimensional illusion maintain a disconnection from reality, we forfeit our power and strength. It makes no difference whatsoever what we do, or how much we do in this 3D experience, just don't believe it's real, or lend credence and value to this illusory plane. These riches and these systems are more prevalent now than at any time in history. We become horrified at the thought of losing our three-dimensional possessions and will resist and react furiously at the thought of losing them. Just as they want us to do. This resistance and reaction is the manipulative tool that they need to keep perpetuating the veil that disconnects us from reality. Without the fear they purposely manufacture through wars, genocide, religion and science, and so on, they would have nothing. Fear is the manipulation machine they need. Fear is resistance. Fear is reaction. Fear, resistance and reaction is mind control hypnosis of the masses. We have no need to fear, react or resist. The world systems should have no hold on us and the loss of anything gained from the three-dimensional world should be incidental. The reason it shouldn't have a hold on us is because it's not real. Three-dimensional physical wealth in any form, is just energy, a light molecule whirling about, masquerading as something real and it's simply not there. Energy is thought, and this thought originated with the exercising of the ego in the eternal state by the egregore thinkers. Ego thought IT knew something. Why should we then be concerned about losing something that's not there in the first place? There are no numbers in the infinite awareness state. Everything in the three-dimensional natural realm is based on real pi, 3.141. with endless decimal numbers, and the golden mean, or phi, 1.618. with endless decimal numbers, which have no ability to support any religious, magical, geometric, mathematical, algebraic, chemical, astrological or numerological formula. Pi and Phi are concerned with light energy, 
which is the corrupting force in this physical realm, and is what the physical realm is totally formed of. Then, when the egregore thinking entities played the natural forces it created against the man-made systems it also inspired, a process called duality, that incorporates the sacred geometric equations, the result is illusion of endless greed, death, disease and fear. To those in the illusory trance state, the greed, death, disease and fear all seem totally real, yet, it remains a complete fabrication and separation from reality. Have a look at the number 8 in the diagram immediately below. Notice, that when two squares are overlaid, and given a 45 degree twist, an 8 pointed star, or octagon is formed by connecting the points. This 8 pointed star is formed by two squares, which in themselves are two crosses, formed by the intersecting lines that divide the square into four seasons. These two squares, or two crosses, form the double cross of religion and intellectualism, the manipulation tool used to perpetuate the illusory world separating us from reality.